So it's Raft. What is Raft? It is a game where you are on a raft. That's all I know. I know it got a huge update. And I know that um, it's uh, a hipster on a little raft boat. And you build up stuff that you find, like driftwood and stuff. That, that's really all I'm aware of uh, about the game so far. So, uh, but, but we're going to join the other lads. In a day is likely. Days likely. That's all I got. From I, that we were talking about combos t- to give you the best heartburn. <laughs> and we're like, what food combos can you smack in like in three in a row? We're like, this is going to be the best heartburn you've ever had. Uh, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, that margarita I had yesterday, I had a hard time without Tums trying to sleep. So. Oh, that did give you heartburn? A little bit. It's good, but I mean, alcohol just gives me heartburn these days. Can't help it. So, listen, chat, today I'm joined by Jeff Vigibum. I'm joined by Zot. Zot. And I'm joined by Dave Cap. Welcome. Dave. I'm joined by Dave. One of the Daves I know. I know. So, um, yeah, we're going to play some Raft. I've never played this before. So, you know, I'm just going to join the world, and then you guys can join in. And we can talk about the heartburn combo as we Raft in peace. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got so many things to talk about in that area, on that subject. Well, tonight I made um, pork tacos with, like, spicy sauce, sauciness. And... I got I had a little little heartburn from that. But I think that's because I had a Tums yesterday which weakened my stomach. So It was good though. It, it, it gets me thinking about having an internal like we got the Apple Watch to or whatever to watch stats, but we can't like get into that granular data of how many points of acidity have we affected ourselves with eating one Tums. I want to get that down that much data about myself. Only when we die do we get the end scr- the end score. <laughs> <laughs> the end screen, or just all the data you ever want. Mm-hmm. You just have access to the whole library. Yeah, how many times you pooped? Is uh, that not a a form of hell in a way? Uh, philosophically? Well, depends on how much you pooped, I think. If you have to like <laughs> sit there and watch every poop, I don't think that's like it's not heaven but i do think we get a stat screen and then we find out who built the pyramids like it's just boring it's just the egyptians but we find out which is great so that's cool you have to keep a poop journal you don't do that i haven't yet but that that sounds cool bro uh jeff is that you swimming out near the shark yeah is that how you play raft he'll be fine you only die if the shark bites you like four times. Oh. Oh, there's an island already. Is that good? Yeah. In. So once again, Chad, I've never played this. Um, is there supposed to be music? Uh, sometimes. Like Minecraft sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. I am also a complete Isla Nublar to this game. Was that Just a pick Jurassic up Park everything. reference? reference yes oh. all right um so we're gonna pick up everything right now it's just four people on a tiny little platform so i think priority might be to extend the raft Vinny, you played a ripoff did i play a sunday stream ripoff of this four guys one raft that doesn't sound like a good time depends on who you are oh mm, what if you're tom hank uh, or one of the guys of volleyball? Are you? <laughs> it's one guy, one volleyball. <laughs> one, guy, one of the Unf- guys is a volleyball. Unfortunately, that that cup video, the name of it, ruined one thing. One thing, number thing, number thing is just that's just porn at this point. So, like, if you just click, it it's like the weakest toss known to man. Yeah. One man, one object. One guy, one taco. One gray, one Leno. 
so so far i bet the chat who's never played this game is like wow what riveting gameplay this is but i think this is kind of more of a relaxing game anyway <laughs> uh, it gets more interesting definitely cool well what i would like to do is how do we extend the raft you gotta make a hammer first a little wooden hammer okay the tab did you see all the stuff yeah, I saw that. So wooden hammer first, got it. Get the barrels. There's nothing there. actually on this island, so there's like I picked up a flower. Yeah, the flowers don't really. I mean, I think it's for like painting, so I don't know if we really need them right away. Wait, was was there a way for us to attach this to? Can you get back on the raft? I'm trying. Uh, not currently. Oh god, there's Did a shark. Hook of it. That was you. Safety. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, you're good. Take the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a, a nibble. It was just like a, a little nibble. It wanted to taste the flesh. Somebody should make a. Oh, Jeff did already. You what? need at least one spearman. That's going to be Jeff. So we need, Spearman, to, Jeff. we need to rope to, uh, to build a hammer. So, uh, something to note is that if you hover over the icon of the rope mm -hmm. in the build menu, you can see if you can build more rope automatically. Oh, you can. That's it, it, because you build it with palm leaf in one of the other mm -hmm. component menus. Oh. oh. But, uh, I, okay. I thought I built it, now it's gone. It's like leaves, plank, oh, plastic, hey shark. and what else? It's like a basic material. That's not fair, shark. What are you doing? What the fuck? What? Did you just oh. go through the raft? Yeah, yeah. What fucking he has. How was that? His temporal phasing capabilities. So you can. Kind of like carry the shark, but I just fucked it up, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do that again. Get that box, yeah, get that shit. I'm trying my bestest. Get that box. <laughs> All right, I got oh, it. Okay, Sorry. I just, uh, I just uh, got some extra rope here. Did I make two Eight. hammers? Oh, I made two hammers. Good for me. Fuck. All right, who wants a hammer? It's in this little box here. So you can have that. Okay. Thank All you right. for the hammer. Building. Oh, wow. We got some raft extensions on the way. All right, I need trash. Wait, what is that? Is that... Pl oh, I need plastic. All right, so plastic. My hook is almost dead. So I didn't even wow, know already. hooks had um, durability. You can make one real easy, though. It's uh, go to the, the tool menu. Mm -hmm. It's plastic hook. It's just two plastic and one wood. Really, it's like That's the a, cheapest thing in the game. Okay, cool. There's an interesting thing on the horizon. It might be another raft of some like long dead team of freaks like us. Mm -hmm. I want to know how we got on this raft, though. That's what I'm like wondering. Well, if we put ourselves into that situation, it would probably be somewhere off the east coast, and someone had the smart decision to take some pallet wood. <laughs> just out and I don't know just forgot that you got taken out the ocean I don't know how the, how the situation ended up on the floating pallet well I have there an idea a, like, there's a journal button I, I have an oh, idea I didn't even know that here's what happened I watched Top Gun 2 which led to <laughs> me going to lots of airplane museums which led to me getting my pilot's license which led to me becoming Harrison Ford which led to us hanging out in Wildwood because, you know, that's, of course. And then, that led to me taking us up over the Atlantic Ocean in a small plane. And then I crashed because I actually didn't learn how to fly. And I bought the license on the black market. So you just and set us up for failure very fast, is what yeah. you're saying. Oh, okay. Oh man, I need more plastic. See, I and who said plastic was bad for the ocean? 
<laughs> you know, think of all the a lot of all, all the seamen out there who who just need to like build more of their raft. I was gonna ask if this was just the default setting for the ocean, or this was the trash of <laughs> like an event, and it wasn't just you know, the ocean's just full of stuff. Eventually, you could just hopscotch your way to the other some other continent because of all the trash. <laughs> Yeah, man. The ocean is like the Walmart of nature. You can get whatever you need. <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, question. Isn't there a big floating like chunk of, of garbage in the ocean? Multiple. It's just, yeah, there's like like islands of trash, right? It's yeah. The, yeah. it's basically a gorilla's album, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Point point emo. It's a Casio on a plastic beach. <laughs> or whatever the fuck he says. I think he's talking about Casios on a plastic beach, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm thirsty. It's a styrofoam deep sea landfill. Yeah, we need to make a uh, little water thing real quick before people start dying, huh? Um, yeah. A purifier. We need so, to make a purifier. I made a chest so we can consolidate goodies. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some of this stuff in here. The flowers I picked up need, at the island. We need to make a purifier and a little stove too. I think flowers are like the last thing we need. Yeah, flowers I don't know if they're really useful for anything. So I am in my hand am holding a potato. And for those of you that know how much a potato gives me. How much is this potato gonna give me? If you cook it, it'll a give little. Me more. Yeah. Oh, I can cook it. So you're leading me along the, the right path. Okay, well, hold on to potato. I mean, One. what about in real life? Do you like eating a potato? I feel like. It? First off, eating uncooked potato, I think, is like it's, semi poisonous. And. <laughs> and it's very disgusting sounding. <laughs> no, it's just really earthy. It's good for you. Do you ever go to like a McDonald's and then you get like undercooked French fry? It's not like raw potato because they're they're not like real. But I mean, just or whatever. Like, you go to like a place to get French fries and it's like, wait, this tastes, this tastes wrong. Yeah, all the time. You mean Bunger King? Maybe. My problem with is like. They always refresh their fry recipe, and I can never get used to a fry for too long before a fast food place changes it. Right, did you guys make cups? No. Yeah, make a cup. How the, how the heck do you do that? Plastics. Spell. I cup. Oh, I, 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 that was, I know what that is. <laughs> I get the reference. Vinny, you are dying. So are all of us, slowly. <laughs> I mean... Sorry to break us all down during a nice <laughs> little stream. <laughs> I was just going to say, a, a cup is not an object I've made in a game ever. A cup. Yeah, I don't think I made you a try. cup either. Well, you're not a real gamer then, are you? How do I Making not die? Cups in video games. I almost drank seawater because I was so desperate. How, do, how does, like, I would die first on the raft in real life. You gotta put the water into the thing and purify it. Oh, that's what ah. that is? And then start the fire. Yeah. And wait. We're all gonna start fucking dying, so. Yeah. I don't know who got bit. That was me. I found potato in I'm barrel. Fine. I found cup of yeah, salt. So how do I how do I start f Fuego? Uh, put the Fuego put for food the, on it first. For the comida, please. Uh, wait, put the food on. Oh, yeah. Understood. Vinny, did you see the space pictures? I did, and they were very interesting. And I need to like really spend a night looking at them if you know what I mean and like really like ponder like ponder the universe 
it's cool as fuck, but I I need to like, you know, it's one thing to see um a picture of of the universe of a of like a cluster of galaxies when you're scrolling through social media. It's quite another thing to actually ponder the enormity of it and how small we are in comparison, and then write pale blue bot, <laughs> pale blue dot too. So I'll let you know when I've really pondered, but at the moment I haven't had a chance to do so. How do we know it isn't just the AI at this point? Well, there Don't are people see? that feel like everything NASA puts out is fake. <laughs> so just yeah, but you could just type in galaxy pictures and be like, we have new pictures of space. Here's a here's a brain thought. Dolly two a, pictures of space. A, the universe is like really big, right? I think so. so. Like. What if AI generated the universe and there's like, whoa, that actually <laughs> predicted a part of the universe because it's so big. You know what I mean? You say that, but I don't think what you're wrong. Point? When you see how many galaxies there are, it's like, why aren't we some kind of weird AI? Very well could be. AI, AI interpreting, are AI interpreting the universe around us? Yes, yes. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Stop spoiling <laughs> Xenoblade, Vinny. <laughs> Yo, that's a spoiler. I think. I don't actually know. Vinny, fishing rod is a good investment. Oh, that's nice. I'm trying to eat these potats. Just give me a second here. I would like to place my potato. But you have no room to place potat. Does anybody need water? There's two things of fresh water right here. I, I will take... Our, uh, Whose potato it. is ready here? Eat this potato. I'm about to take it. I'm, I'm gonna eat my potato uh, over Jeff, here. Shark, shark. Ch Jeff. Oh. Jeff. Jeff, stop. I don't know where my... Start fucking with your Spearman. potato. Spearman. <laughs> I was dying. I'm gonna get, get speared that shark. You better uh, be the potatoes that. don't really give you a whole lot of food. It's eat or be eaten. Wait, these potatoes are clearly shark. not not f of the ocean. These are not ocean potatoes. These are because so this is a shipwreck. Uh, or the yeah, there were um, barrels that had potatoes in them. Like I okay, Vinny eat Dave. No. no, we haven't reached that level yet. Just give it another day or two. I'm sure we'll start cannibalizing. I'm disgusting. You don't want any of this. I think I think this game is a little too E for everyone for that sort of content. I don't think it's a game's actually E for everyone, but oh, whoa! No. Did that shark just fucking jump up and bite? It, it, bite, it, it got me. Yeah, uh, it got me. I'm almost dead, but don't worry. If I die, okay, you have permission to eat. Eat how what? I, how do I? I want to cook this water. Do I just pour liquid? Oh, no, no, no. There's already fresh water available. Okay, I see. I understand now. Kind of. Yeah. Well, those boxes give you a lot. Holy crap. I can't believe that Saul Goodman got into a shootout with the FBI and Kim mm. Wexler became like a superhero. Like she got Compound V. What a crazy episode that was. Gus Fring, like he was in a lab and he developed the tastiest chicken of all time. And then him and Lalo teamed up and created the real Los Pollos Hermanos. They realized that they were the brothers all along. What a nice episode that was. It was really upbeat compared to the usual. Yeah, exactly. I was like, wow, this is cool. It's nice. I'm in full admittance. I have not watched any Better Call Saul. So you guys got any palm leaves? I can, I can take, take what you're saying. Back. We can go to the island real quick here. I have 20. Let me get some of that. How do you do? I put some in storage. Here you go, Jeff, All right, for this Dave. box right here. Okay, I'll grab those two. It's 20. 
Um, do we have any other food? I, I have to eat that beet. I'm sorry if I don't eat the beet. Yeah, no, it's all yours. Okay. I'll make a fishing rod. I'll start fishing and cooking. Yeah. Fishing. Which way is the wind going? Fishing. Got to make a banner to find that out. This should be cheap. Uh, waves are getting a little spicy. These barrels were... Oh. Come on, barrels. Ah. Oh. Does this game have, like, a dynamic difficulty thing going on with it? Nah. Oh, okay. Damn it. No, honestly. Uh? I've played hours and hours. I've. It's not... There's I feel like, like it's harder right now than it has been for me. <laughs> there, there's one difficulty ramp, and it's when you find big islands. Receiver. Otherwise, otherwise keep in mind print. that all of the trash that we get, like, sort of generates based on where the raft will be in a minute. So if you keep changing uh, the sail around, it like will just not get stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. that's what's happening. Interesting. Vinny, what's your opinion on Philly cheesesteak sandwiches? Um, I, I there, there was a time where that was my favorite junk food. I don't know if it still is, but a, a really, really good cheesesteak is hard to beat. What's, uh, I've heard of something that's not a cheesesteak, but it's called a chopped cheese. Yeah, it's just like hamburger meat chopped up with like peppers and onions and like cheese and it's all in there okay it's i, I it's fine i had one once <laughs> it was fine it's just like a sloppy joe burger kind of thing oh no there's a shark come on bastard i have a spear now, so I'll try to destroy the shark. Reminds me of that was it a Hasbro or Milton Bradley game where it was like a frame and a bunch of fake plastic ice cubes and a hammer. You know what I'm talking about? My two Don't old break the ice. Uh, oh, don't yeah. break the ice. Wow. Don't break the ice. I felt I, like that it had a more smarter name. No, I love Don't Break the Ice. <laughs> I was I was like a champ at that shit as a kid. I love that game. Didn't that, oh, that then was become a, very... a Mario Party minigame? Probably, I think it did. Yep. Like close yeah. to one at least. Do you think Don't Wake Daddy started a number of weird fetishes? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're we're educated we're not, enough to give an answer to that yeah, question. Yeah, no, we're not qualified to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 It was like, but I do I I do think I have enough knowledge to talk on whether people have a fetish for the Monopoly guy, and that's yes. Oh man. People do. That's a shame. You won't be saying that when you grow up and you look like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> 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 you gotta get a also monocle to complete the look, I suppose. Yeah, how much older do I have to get, Dave? I think that's yeah. probably 25 more years out. As long as you don't that lose your sex drive, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> that could be what does it have to do with the Monopoly, Monopoly guy? Man, well, I mean... Are you, you suggesting would... I become Monopoly Man? I think if that... you don't... Yeah, do it up. If you don't have a sex drive, what do you care if it's a fetish? Good point. All right, but that violates the gasm policy of life. <laughs> so I don't know if we're I don't really know. I'm trying to visualize the features of Monopoly Man now. But, you know, yeah, without just just think about Ace Ventura too. He was in just that movie. a monocle, a top hat, and a, and a fat mustache. Cock. Oh, right. But that's I'm finding vast Damn. similarities between Monopoly <laughs> Man and the in the Planter's Peanut. Yeah, I mean, well, one's a, a lot peanut. Of yeah. Also, the Pringles guy. Yeah, the, the Pringles guy. Yeah. Man. Also, yeah. The, the Peanut guy is like a year old now, isn't they, he? They they like do like eyes wide back. shut parties. Those three. Yeah, that <laughs> makes you think. Doesn't it? I don't know what's wrong with me today. Sorry, it's just this raft. 
you know, at this point, I'm my character's gonna fuck See, up a piece of driftwood. Isn't isn't the cabin in Cabin Fever supposed to re like reference the cabin on a boat, not a cabin in the middle of the woods? Uh, so like that's Cabin Fever you're describing. I, I, oh. I feel like that's applicable to both, really. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You know what show I was watching recently? That was about boat horror. What, it's called boat bo boat horrors. <laughs> that I don't know if there's more horrors in it. It, it, it. The show is called The Horror. Oh yeah, The Horror. That's um. Yeah. Wait, no, The Terror. Is yeah, it The yeah, Terror? Is it The Is it The Terror? Yeah. Is Jerry terror. Morris in it? The Terror. Yeah. Yeah. I remember telling everyone to watch it when it came out a while ago. It was really good. Yeah. It's a, that's See, just, a great, great show. I en I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. So as love, long as the show. The sail is pointed at the island. It won't move. I think it like kind of is like a cheap anchor. Yeah, you can kind of futz with it. I'll try to keep the the, the raft uh, in place. I'm just ch chopping some trees. Oh, so flowers are pointless, right? I yeah, throw right away. Earlier. We don't need flower seeds. We don't need flowers. Oops. I threw them all away. No, it's fine. Everything else kind of has a purpose. It seems like. But what about the? I mean, unless you want to like oh. paint things. Oh, there's there's like a little camp up here. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's usually like a stash. Did you find it? Yeah, I found the stash, but now I'm dying of f food. Oh, oh, here we go. Go fucking eat some. Yo, pineapples is this. on the on the island. Pineapple, your man. It's my boy pineapples. <laughs> That's his name. He was a salty sailor who had cabin fever. They called him pineapples because. For some reason, I don't know. What do you mean, don't? What, what chat? Did I already condition you into I, thinking I was going to say some repugnant shit? I guess I, yeah, I guess so. You are the presidente of the president. That sounds like a song. I don't know. You, Anybody got any planks? Use them on the uh, grills. You broke my grill? Oh. Yeah, they're, they're broken. Can you kill the shark and then eat its meat? Yeah, I'm doing that right now. I'm killing this motherfucker. But if you stab him at the right time when he's trying to bite you, it won't. You won't take any damage. Oh, cool. Wait, you got to get the timing down. What do I do with these? Like, how do we plant plants? I guess. Because I got a lot of seeds. Whoa, raft is going mental. It's seeds are just for flat. Oh, you mean like? I have watermelon seeds. Watermelon and that stuff. Uh, that's we're not there yet. Okay. Where'd the shark go, Dave? Oh, there he is. I don't know. He followed. Watch out! Watch out. Oh, my fucking spear broke. I almost had him. Uh, whoa. Had him. Whoa. Oh, physics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going back like after this asshole. Amusement park ride. This is great. Someone just joined and said, do the meat voice. Yeah. Yeah, do the meat voice. You should just do a different voice. I did. I did the sonic voice. Oh, is that what that was? Or whatever it is. At this point, it's mutated into a number of different top, uh, possibilities. I think it's a sonic voice. It is... Yeah, do a barrel roll. It's a, it's a number of things. Can we just eat pineapple straight up? Like you don't need to mm -hmm. cook it, right? Yeah. Right. That's that's how you <laughs> eat it. I'm just I don't know. Some people put it on pizza. Just like real life. Like what if you cook it, do you get more pineapple y hunger satiation? <laughs> yeah, just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get everything on the island? Yeah, I think it's time to leave this crusty I think island. So. See if we can do it. Yeah, as long as you point it the right way, we'll finagle away. Might just take some time. It is we a raft. Can, we can get the paddle if we really need it. But it's not called boat, I guess. Come okay. Is, is anybody starving? Not yet. I put a fish in the chest. I, I eat some I pineapple. Ate one fish. 
So if that was a fish, I already ate it. And I thank you for it. Posthumously. You, you're dead? Uh, the fish is. So, still. You ate my fish? Don't you ate my Did Vinny talk about the new Corb? Oh, Kirb, Kirby. I was like, what is this language? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's either Korg from Thor or Curb Your Enthusiasm, but yeah, no. Um, I didn't talk about the new Kirby. I'll probably play it. It looks like a fun little game. It's like Fall Guys racing and eating lots of snacks until your Kirby becomes round. So, yeah. it seems fun. Not an F-Zero in sight, but we got five Kirby games on the Switch. <laughs> Is it really up to that much? I think we're up to five. There, I made a little thing to tell us the direction of the... Of the wind. Get the fucking sail that way, I guess. I'd like to make a torch so we can see in the dark. Yeah, we gotta make this boat bigger, too. This fucking... We don't know how to make it. We don't know how to make a torch yet. What okay. uh, blueprint did you find? Receiver. Uh, okay. You know, I found the antenna, actually. I made boat slightly bigger. You gotta find uh, another, like, abandoned boat and get the research stuff going. It's like Sea of Thieves without yeah. the excitement. Which is cool. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that in a negative way, because you get to build and scavenge. It's got, like, a different vibe to it, but it is a chill game. I mean, fighting the shark is... Kind of exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Better than, like, what, what happens in Sea of Thieves that, like, fucking flies around your ship and, like, some, like, wacky shit happens? Who, who uh, flies around him. your ship? I don't know, some, like, freaking kraken. Oh, yeah. The Megalodon? Big, big shark. Yeah, I got that motherfucker. He comes back, but the water is safe for now. So we can, if I wanted to, I could go swim out to this. Yep. Nice. We got like two minutes, probably. I think then he responds. Jeff, your um, your microphone, it still does it's crackly. It. Yeah, it gets crackly. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird with Discord and and you it, like fucks up. We'll restart it. See if oh, these fuck. changed a lot. For far away from the boat. Oh, sh shit. I'll uh, reverse the sail so that you can get back to it. It's okay, I'm almost there. You know, I was, I was, I've been recently watching instructional safety videos for, for fun. And it got me thinking <laughs> about the, uh -huh. the reaction of a person when they, like, fuck up. It, they always show it in films of, like, oh, shit. But I think I like the reactions where people are like, oh, <laughs> like way, way more subdued response to like fucking something up. I don't know. That's my it's little like, brain tangent it's just, there. No, I like that tangent because I, I tend to just kind of, there's like a, a resignation to, to like, well, I fucked up or, oh, this is just how life goes. Yeah, it's it. Someone in chat mentioned panic silence as well. Like where y y your brain doesn't even know how to, to react. Like you've acknowledged what, what's happened, whatever, whatever the fuck up may be, but it's like you could even make a, a, a loud noise about it. I don't know. It's the thought of like right before the, the bomb goes off at a movie and our, our villain's like, no! <laughs> but I, I think the... Was it in Die Hard where they push Hans Gruber off and he doesn't even like say, say anything? He, because he, he just goes, has Ugh. a surprised look. But also yeah, that yeah. take was um, a like they let go on like two. They're like, all right, we're going to let go and then you're going to drop down onto the cushion. And they let go early, so it surprised him. So Alan Rickman was actually like kind of surprised by that and that was just his reaction from what I understand. So that's why there's Actors Guild rules. 
That's actually no. That's pretty neat. I didn't realize that was a uh, a legitimate reaction. That's I like that factoid. Also, one of my favorite reactions to uh, that sort of stuff is when Mr. Plinkett is watching. You know, when he's he's talking about episode three or whatever episode, and then he shows the mm. "What's wrong with your face?" person, and he's like, "Oh." <laughs> it's like he he doesn't even at this point he's just like yeah it's just that i've always enjoyed that reaction oh so you start moving really slowly when you you are hungry yeah there were watermelons up there but i ate them because i was very very hungry but i have seeds if we ever find a way to make a garden well this this fish i just started the fire under is mine i claim it can we throw wet bricks at the sharks? No? Alright. Shark bait no. we can make. I need a bunch of planks and then we can make a research table. So there is uh, something else to learn about this game. If you uh, get, out, get out your hook. Yeah. And come into the water. You'll see that there are things down here for you to farm. For me to poop in? Or gather, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's a carburetor. I'm just getting destroyed by a shark while I'm doing this, but no problem. Yeah. Or as a muffler. It's a muffler. Weird. Very you weird. Why the fuck is that shark? Oh, shit. Oh, right behind me. He's back. He's biting yeah. somebody. Yeah, I'm trying to kill him again. If I way. throw a hook up onto a seagull, do we have meat? That is not how you kill a seagull. You can, though. Yeah, you can just stab him. He dies. Oh. Isn't that, like, bad bad luck to do that? Yeah, yeah. It'll, you're, you'll be cursed. Bad luck! <clears throat> kill a seabird! I really want to know what, what, what was the... The like lore behind all the, those bad luck superstitions of the sea. Bored sailors. Yeah, bored and, and also le yeah, letting your mind wander, or whatever. Prone to tragedy because, you know, everything sucked. Yeah, just like lots of, probably lots of fun, disasters all the time. And they were just like, "Why did this disaster happen?" Oh, because you killed a seabird. Why did this one happen? Because I had a wank before we set sail. Why did this one happen? I threw an orange over my left shoulder. It's like... Well, that one's legit. Yeah, orange. you can't yeah. do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Raw catfish. Uh, Does not fit. Oh, you can't cook a, cook a big fish. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I put the bigger girl. I put the big ones in the storage. Good old fish fry. That shark over there? Yeah. All right, I'm getting on the other side of the island. Sometimes there's like caves too. If you find mother shit, I'm gonna focus on growing some uh, some dank delectables. Nice. Yeah. See, that flower is good for something. How do you plant? It won't let me plant. I have the small, seeds. Small crop box. I have that, uh, yes. Which seeds? Pineapple and watermelon. You won't grow those in a small crop box. Those are going to require larger things that we don't have yet. Okay. Yeah, I think you can put um, drop top, small crop box. Mm -hmm. can, you not, can you put pineapple in there or no? No. No. no potato and radish, I think, are the two that go in the small ones. Does anyone have okay. potato seed? I don't, I don't think I've ever even seen one. We have any kind of seed that isn't... No, no, no I guess not. Um, Well, I'm about to die of starvation. Well, there's fish on the grill. Yeah, eat some. Wait for those. One of them's cooked. Grab it. Thank you. You could eat the fish raw, too. It just brings your uh, hydration aren't, down. Aren't potatoes really, the really seed? If you got a uh, rope or palm leaves, throw them in the chest for me, please. Oh yeah, there's a underwater cave. Well, thank you. Where? Where? Where, where thou you? 
right under the. Oh, I'm gonna die, motherfucker. Oh yeah, the shark is like on top of me. I see it. No. Hey, shark. Probably not a great idea to be down here. Yeah, careful. I found copper. Don't know when we're going to use that, but cool. Uh, probably pretty soon. Uh oh, Zot, do you have a spear? No, none of any sort. Oh, well, we'll just lose. Oh, there's me. Let me rectify that one sec. Yeah, I, I have a spear one. now. We can Once get way the photo to say shark instead of hawk. Shark. Lord of the <laughs> Flies is is required reading for y'all, right? Like that was. Yeah. I didn't have to read yeah. it. I mean, okay. Twenty years ago. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like I, I'm kind of wondering why that became so prolific as a required reading. Kids getting on a on a lost island. I think it's like maybe to teach you that humans can become very uncivilized very quickly. No, to Peck, teach you how to survive. Pecking island. order. Uh, all I knew, mm. all I remember is from it is that they 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 use the term asthma to reference asthma. That's about it. Are we good to go? Yeah, we can leave. I, I'm already. We've we've I, out. We've done everything here. I think. Shove off. So uncivilized. Why are we coughing? Vinny, name here, top we? ten rat people. What? What is a rat person? Germa. <laughs> okay. Kraken. It Kraken. Yeah, he's got rats stuff all over the place. Well, I like a, as a New Yorker, a I, I guess. I'm also a rat person because I live in a place where there are rats. Yeah, I'm gonna be a rat now. What is what is the frequency of sighting of rat that w that you would say in Manhattan? If it's yeah, garbage like day it and everyone's putting out their garbage, I would say there's a eighty percent chance I'll see a rat scurrying around it. So, but I'm I not in Manhattan, the... so you know. Okay, I. Jeff suggested this YouTuber that does like these stealth camping things. I was watching one of his videos and he said where he was in Canada, like the whole area is like rat free. And that blew my mind. I'm like, how could you say a whole area in, in Canada is rat free? I feel like that's fake. Alberta. That's a legit thing. How many what? cats do they have? Ratless realm. What? Do they have like rat pesticides that they just put everywhere? Wow. They are hiding them well. <laughs> <laughs> Good for the rats, someone says. Oh. So how do you know that? that? Oh. Huh. I mean, what if, okay, what if someone says, definitely... oh, I was in Alberta and I saw a rat. Does the government of Alberta just kill them? It sounds like, yeah, they would have to have a task force to prevent rats if, if, it's, if they're saying, yeah, there's rats. Not the rats, Zot, the person that saw them. You're talking about <laughs> rat force. You never heard of that? <laughs> That's similar to, to the goose force on Air Force bases. Where they try to keep birds off oh, the, yeah. the flight area. What do they yeah. call it? There's a, a bird incident when a bird hits the propellers or like it gets sucked yeah, into a yeah. jet. It, there's a name for that. It's called a sully. Bird, it's just <laughs> bird strike. It's just bird strike. Birdemic. <laughs> Let's hope not. So there's there's birdless flight fields in Ratless, Alberta. <laughs> That's a sentence. I was going to say, like, if you do, you know how, like, some episodes of podcasts, like, find the most random thing that occurred? 
and use that mm. as the topic of the podcast, that would be the topic of this podcast. Ratless bird fields in Alberta. So, thank you for joining the podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the situation in Alberta uh, that you might not have heard about. Uh, it's, it has no rats. You know, your, your dog has no tail. Your city has no rats. Does that mean it's even a real city? But first, an ad from Manscape. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to shave your balls? Yep. Man great. 100% cast iron grill. You can put that thing on the grill and get perfect meat every time. Man, resource management is... Uh, is... Is insane. Mm-hmm. Ciao. No, I like it. Yeah. Alright, just got some these barrels. Brief bunch of barrel stuff. Uh do we have a research table yet? No. I need one more plank and I can research I can get us get us a research table. Uh. I'll get that plank just now, don't worry about that. Don't you don't you make no never mind. I got this. Right there. I got it. You got it. You, you missed it. That's okay, I have the research table. Alright, good. I'm gonna place that... Uh, here. Oh no, I ate raw fish. Yeah, that's alright. Net canister and net launcher. Uh... Netscape? So this podcast brought to you by Netscape. You only get to the podcast via Netscape browser. It's not too obvious how to use the table. Yeah, you gotta like, like kind of like Rust. Well, I don't know how to use them in Rust. So uh, it says, "Oh, you, so you got to put the yes. materials into the little box and research it, and it opens up all the recipes up." Right. Or like some iteration of Rust did that. I don't know. What is that? Like fucking twelve years old now at this point. Yeah. Okay. So then, I, if I have nail, I can get simple collection net. Right. So we got to make a nail. Right. So I got, I got a nail. I got a nail. I'll put that in there. Gaming nail out of scrap. And then oh, I this. have a simple collection net. Nice. Yeah, you want to just like surround the boat with that shit. So I need plank and rope. So I'll get that. All this trash in the ocean just remind me of that. What was it the the balloon launch in the eighties in Cleveland? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know what that is. What are you What are you talking about? Oh, so yeah, so some some group think thought it was a good idea to release like a million balloons. In oh god, in I do remember that. I know what that is and now, then, yes. And then someone like inadvertently died due to it because like, the emergency crews couldn't find him via helicopter. I think and a lot like of people a, died. It was like a massive wasn't it like I don't I, <laughs> what? No. No, it was it was like one or two people that died due to emergency services being like prevented by the, all the balloons. It's it's there like, was, like some other shit that happened, like hmm. thousands of like Birds died or something like that too, or something. Like oh that. yeah, the environmental yeah. impact alone is bananas. There's like piles of fucking dead birds or something Jesus, like that in the middle of like poor Cleveland birds. or something. There's um also wasn't there a marketing ploy to release a bunch of rubber balls? Might have been yeah. San Francisco or somewhere, <laughs> and it was just a huge. No, it wasn't. Just, it wasn't San Francisco. Where was that chat? Because there was a, a thing. Well, there was the bouncy ball thing that they did down the uh, down a street in San Francisco, but that was all contained and done for like a commercial right. or something. That, there that was another like... one. There was another one. They tried to fill a reservoir with rubber balls to prevent the water from evaporating. Um, there was another incident that actually was like really bad. I th 
I'm just reminded of the guy who put a bunch of Orbeez in his house and like ruined the whole infrastructure in his his apartment building. Zorbies? Orbeez, like the little water ball things that like I, expand. Are you saying Arby's is an Irish person? Or Orbeez? I feel like I, I'm pronouncing Orbeez. it well enough. Yeah, he shoved a bunch of Arby, a bunch of Arby's roast beef sandwiches down the, his drain, and it just fucked everything up. Oh my god! What is it? No, seriously, I'm sorry, I wasn't. What was an Orby again? Shark, Zon? shark, shark. Uh, I'll explain Orby's after this shark break. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, Orby's are some sort of chemical turned toy. That's it's like salicylic acid or mm -hmm. not salicylic, that's salicylic acid, the, the, like the silica pellets or whatever. And they put it in water and they expand. They're like gel similar mm -hmm. to that, but I don't actually know what the fuck they're made of. Anyway, some guy for the views posted a video of views. him putting a, sh a putting a shitload of them in his bathtub and down the toilet. And then they expanded and they started coming up through his plumbing. Oh, like, and it, the sewage came along with it. It caused a huge wow. backup and his house, like the whole place was fucked. And you can watch a video of him like freaking out. And then the, the aftermath of like the, the, the utilities people showing up and like the police, I think were there. I yeah, bet was, they loved to hear about that. They love to hear why that happened. Um, it was, views. it was for a YouTube video. Damn. It was the entire town. <laughs> The whole town was pissed. Yeah, I believe that. Fucked up his whole neighborhood, they say. Hmm. I did not know it was that widespread. I did not know that, Ed. I did not know that. That's wild stuff, you know? Wild stuff. So, uh, here we have the, uh, the guy that put the Orbeez down his toilet. Yeah, why? Wild. Now, listen, a Johnny Car Carson reference, that's good for my audience, right? Like, that's yeah. the kind of stuff that my audience would appreciate and like. Yeah, they would right, know cool. that. 50 year olds in your audience will love it. Well, if they grew up with Dana Carvey era SNL, they would know it. At the yeah. very least. How many levels of, of extraction of Carson impressions does it take <laughs> to get people to realize what you're talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I get you. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I Somebody mentioned. Some, yeah. Somebody mentioned Jimmy Stewart. I think that's my favorite, yeah. Dana Carvey. Yeah, I don't, do it again, whore. That was a <laughs> special. Exactly. I like I like his Neil Young. He is a good Neil Young. He was just on Conan's podcast again, which I have not listened to yet fully. I've listened to a little bit of it. He did a... a they talked about Norm and how um, he just did a comedy special. Like, they were on the same bill. And Norm mm. just like just said cock for like thirty minutes, and people were going crazy. They loved <laughs> it. I mean, it's good material, as good material. proven by like Twitch. Vinny trying to reach stones with a hook. I don't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. Um, hey, I, I found a bolt. I I'm use that to, to research. Oh, that's a little, little bit of death stand. Bolts are really useful. Yeah, you need those. Um, where's the research table? Oh, I'm making a little like uh, cabin area. Cool. Just moving shit around a little bit. Okay. Actually, I have a pinyap that I put in there. If anyone needs some quick pinyap food. Then he research everything. Well, not the second I, I I won't, but soon. That is wild stuff. <laughs> I can't what? stop Carson. For for those of you that are are non-native English speakers, what is pineapple in your language? Pinapale. Ananas. That's the one. That's the one. Ananas, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> Ananas. Uh, don't, don't they just say that in Lord of the Rings? I like how in Lord of the Rings, instead of there being elephants, they're they're oly fonts. Genius Timothy, Tolkien. 
Timothy Olyphants. <laughs> Actually, are they Olyphants or are they they're something like <clears throat> that? Omnifonts, right? <laughs> Everybody I, in chat saying only fans. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was or a font website. Only fonts. That's a good yeah. one. I feel like that would have been a website before OnlyFans. Yeah. But open up for a resurgence thanks to OnlyFans. So. Do you remember when OnlyFans was like, hey, we're, we're removing porn from our website? <laughs> that was a funny 24 hours. Yes, it was. <laughs> Yes, it was. Have you been made aware of the various attempts at, like, including gaming and the content of OnlyFans prior to OnlyFans? You know what I'm talking about? I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about, actually. There, there were services, I'm sure their services still exist, that were basically like, you can pay to play effectively browser games with someone you're paying to play browser games with. Oh yes, I've heard of this. But yep. in the style of like OnlyFans, and <laughs> it was like a one-on-one -on -one thing. Right. That's just the yeah. internet. Right. Right. Forever. It always will be. <laughs> so pay for a friend? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah, pay for a friend, yeah. It's called an escort service. They're really good. <laughs> For all you, uh, you just want to play people. Mario Party. <laughs> Didn't just... somebody do that like recently too? What? Yeah, no, I remember seeing. This was like in the past year. Somebody like hired an escort just to play Mario Kart with them, and like they got their ass kicked. That's a that's a new um, that's a new like. You know, like software as a service, SaaS, FAS, friends as a service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we're, that's the new market we're hey, getting into. I'll tell you what, though, if you move to a new place, it's hard to meet new friends. Sure. Like, it, it can be, as an adult, it can be tough to make new friends. So that's why I feel bad for people that have a hard time. And I know that, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. So, I don't know, if you can pay for a friend, I guess, that's for a night. Like, that's the thing, like, I feel bad. It's hilarious, but it's also like, oh, those poor people. <laughs> right. I, th I think you know, we're, we're, we're confounding on the friend part and not not sort of focusing on the fact that they're usually just used for people to pay to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cook, cook with. I, yeah. Cook with. That's a good one. Yeah. Only flan. They just someone put, <laughs> it's not that it wasn't oh wait a minute. No, that wasn't a laugh because it was funny, right? I liked it. I uh, like I mean it is sometimes. a good restaurant name if they are flan focused. You got All some right. plus twos out of that. Alright, fine, fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. I wanna get on that island over there. Alright, I'll set the sail up. We'll be good. Set the sail. Did anyone swab the poop deck yet? Uh, this whole thing is a poop deck. Have I, have I told you what, what they yeah. call coveralls in the Navy? No. In some, they're called poopy suits. In some, <laughs> some instances. I'm not joking. Why? Poopy. I don't I get know. It. I wasn't I get there it. when they coined the term. No, I get it now. I know why. I don't know. They don't do what I think they do in them, right? No, but they do work in 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 that in those, yeah. Okay. So I just made a stone axe. Yeah. Chop that and, shit. Yeah. Someone said that Ross's friend Don from the uh, Penn Island th show that I did, uh, 
hired an escort to play Mario Kart with him, and now they're still friends. They still ha play hang yeah. out to this. Yeah, that, that's that's right. Interesting. Oh. I knew I heard that story recently. Well, okay. I feel like that's focusing on on the occupation. I mean, what what is stopping you from hiring a plumber to do the same thing? Uh, good point. Good point. Yeah. The, um, well, which is I more mean, expensive, an escort or a plumber? <laughs> In this economy, well, I mean, for, I've, I've seen some, I've seen some films where they they, they kind of do the same thing. They're usually at the same place at the same time. That's <laughs> Doing the same job. Yeah. Dark. I got a spear. You called a plumber? Yeah, it depends on if they wear a tie or not. The they don't wear ties usually. plumber exchange rate. It all depends on your diet in both cases. Mm. What have I thrown? Oh, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I know from experience in my local area, the cost to get a plumber to do the piping necessary to put in a second bathroom is, and some other stuff is right. Is about twelve thousand dollars. So, they yeah. said they'd be there for like. Twelve thousand? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's it is a, cheaper it, to get an S card. Jesus. I mean, that's like a week of work, probably. So yeah, you're. I think plumbers are more expensive. <laughs> Hire the escort to do the work. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 she show, they they show up and you're like, I need some plumbing done. And they're like, oh, I'm good at that. You have like, oh, so it's like hard cut to you pointing out where you want the toilet to be. And, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. there's, That's there's a good comedy skit. I, I've seen it, actually. That is, a, that is a skit that exists. It's really good. Okay. I think it, it's similar. It's like... It's more of the porn actress hires a plumber and then mm, comes on to okay. him and he just he's just like, but you need to do this and this. And he's like just talking about the plumbing and not getting what's going on. It's just really like good. Telling her about like housing code. And it's like we were going to need to get a permit for this. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh. Hey, where'd that research table go? Under the stairs, man. Oh, I see it. OK, it's a little tight down here, but that's OK. Feather from a bird. Titanium ingot. Bolt. Uh, I'll, I'll put the bolt in her. No I can make a large crop plot. Let you grow trees? Well, this might come with some obviousness, but what does the bed do? Um. In, in the game. So I think normally, like, you'll respawn there if you die. Mm-hmm. Let's see if um, But it also might heal you if you sleep in it. Vine. Yeah, if you lay in it, it just, like, uh, heals you a little bit. Okay. I was like, well, it can't set your spawn point. This is your spawn point. So it's not a Minecraft rule. I guess we need that ingot to... Uh in order to get the research going for that. Yeah, that's the next like choke point. We need to get the what is it? The um the forge. Like forge, yeah. That? Something like that. Yeah, I made a couple of dried bricks for that. If you have clay or sand, put it into the container and I'll make the bricks for the forge. Oh. This is a oh, really barrel. This is a hard area to get to. The research table. Yeah, hey, you uh, can move it. Just, that's okay. I don't even know how. It's not a thing that we're gonna need to use a lot though, so gotcha. Uh what did you need in there, Dave? Like ore and stuff? Sand sand or clay. Well oh. both actually, sand and clay. 
A little bit of sand and that's it. I just put like one. That's all I have. Um Lantern. You guys have like a lot of uh planks. You gotta Oh let me check. Octopile. I have eleven I have eleven on me. I'll put them in storage. Thank you. Yeah, I can um no I can't I can't really spare a ton of planks, never mind. I'm just building the raft, so. Gotcha. Yeah, Will you check out multiplayer Skyrim? Oh Sorry, God. Yeah, there's I, a mod. I actually got that. I got that working um, well, the other night. It, Did you uh, works play well. much of it? Yeah. Uh, we, me and Gear, had played the original release and its buggy ness, and then we wanted to compare it to the the reborn release. The the, the difficulty. I mean, you can. I mean, if you wanted to set it up, there, there's a way to do it. It's fairly easy, but it basically requires you to reset your Skyrim installation just oh. to keep things clean. Yeah. Um, if you got a lot of mods on it, then we'd have to have all the same mods you had. And yeah, my uh, old installation, that's from my old computer at this point, from, you know, so right. I don't even know. But yeah, I had a bunch of mods on it, so. But if you have a fresh installation and you just pick the mods, make sure everybody has the same mods and the server actually, I think, validates whether you all have the same mods or not. Not visual, but like system-based mods. Um, we At some point, I'm going to go from being a variety streamer to just Skyrim only. Considering how many times in the past couple years I've played Skyrim. It's like, it just keeps happening. It just keeps fucking yeah. happening. <laughs> uh... I thought about, I mean, for the options on it, I want to do a little competition mm -hmm. where each person spawns in a different alternate start area and we have to meet at a certain place, kind of like a battle royale sort of situation, but That's it's cool. on like a super hard difficulty. So I, I want to try some of the competitiveness of it. Um, see I what never we considered do, or... how that would even work, like a competitive Skyrim kind of situation. So that's yeah. interesting. Oh, my character is hungry and thirsty. Let me place some salt water. I what do I get? Decoration package? Someone in your chat suggested first to cook skooma race. <laughs> I like that. Skooma eighty percent multiplayer. We, we need to cook. I learned how to make a flag. Cool. Yeah. I can make a skull flag. I'm going to do that. It's going to be sick. Let me show you. Look at that. Oh, man. Your heart fiddle Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good flag. Speaking of piracy, you see what Ubisoft is doing? They're just I de hear... delisting a game that you could, you know, you can't even play it if you own it or something. I don't know what's going on. I think they yeah, backtracked they, on that. They, they backtracked okay. a bit on it, yeah. Like, that happened today, I think. Is that just Ubisoft's way of getting people to talk about Ubisoft now? Wow, they did it. <sighs> I think so. God damn it. You might be right. I, it, it might be. I mean, people are complaining because they, they, those games went on sale not too long ago or whatever, and it's like, oh, we're removing access. Very strange. Yeah, this island's huge. Fucking huge. I want um, to make crop. Plop. Plop. I have, I'm aware of the goal. I mean, I get the goal of survival, but like... The, the end what is game? the end? Yeah, yeah. What's the focus? I guess. Uh, there's a point where we'll just be building stuff that tells us where to go, and then you just follow that around. Okay. The point is to have fun and play the game. <laughs> what do you yeah. Mean? Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I forgot. Yeah, you're right. 
but that's all games. Though, I'll be honest, I'm kind of with Zod a little bit, because I do like even an optional end game on stuff like this, so that way, for my streams, at the very least, I can have some sense of closure. Where I could just say, alright, well, it's done. But, uh... Yeah, yeah this game has that. last more than, like, you know, an hour or so. It goes a little while. It has, like... It's like, uh... Wasn't it in early access for, like, eight years or some shit like that? Quite a while, yeah. And then How recently it came out with, like, an actual plot, and now that's why everyone's playing it. Yeah. Oh, I still right. don't have a spear. Uh, I, I want to move like, us over to the shore of this hacking. island. Um, do you have a paddle? Can't get us over there. No. Also, there's oh. a giant island in front of you. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, is, is get to the island, but unfortunately... Just check guess... off. Walk. Alright, so you can, like, spam, space, jump, or whatever, and, like, walls basically oh yeah yeah you can oh there is there is indigenous fauna I see a boar is this boar going to gore me speaking of boar you know it was boring anytime hmm. in subnautica's DLC when you had to do stuff on a, on land did you play that I never played subnautica DLC never oh. really like has popped out to me. Like, oh yeah, that fucking hog! Watch out! That boar is aggressive. Big I hog. Have agro aggroed boar. I need mm. a main tank. Aggro boar. Oh my god! That, oh, I am. I am dead. I am so. Dead. That, your end game can be trying to survive the boar now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attached to boar, and he's taking me to his lair. Yeah. Please stop. Please stop. I'm here now. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Some of these trees. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, that boar. Yeah. So the boar, you have to like kind of draw him. You know what I mean? Boar is is nothing to fuck with. Oh my god. He charges and then <laughs> just tap him. Is this Timon or Pumba? Which one was the the boar? <laughs> Seth Rogen. Adam. It was James Gordon. <laughs> Pumba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Let me try to do my. I can't do it. I can't do it out of command. I'm not. I can't what do Seth Rogen voice? <sighs> Once. <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's not. You possible. know, it's really, not, yeah. we're making this movie, <laughs> and the boy. It just sounds like I'm coughing. I can't do it on command. Like that's to just happen naturally and gutturally. Yeah. Guttural Seth Rogen. Yeah. Maybe there's like some something you could do that that helps you. It's the keyword. That. Like um, Ross Perot for Dana Carvey was, can I finish? Can I finish? Maybe there's so, some kind of chemical you can... Oh, no, that's in. what you're talking about. Okay. That brings um, out the Seth, Seth Rogen. There is a chemical. It grows within the... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, not going to happen. <laughs> I found a strange hut with lights on it. So that's where you actually trade in ocean garbage? Or like goods, I guess, but I'd never have gotten that far where you actually like build the machine to I think it's a recycler you make and it like sucks in garbage and like makes tokens or something. I don't know even how it works. It's I have like no idea. It's more mid to late game. Is it okay? Then you can buy the stuff. I'm learning from you, Jeff. Learning from the best. I don't know. I don't know. I've only played like a couple hours. Wait, is this crypto? It literally is like a Bitcoin icon. The fuck? All currency is crypto now. Here is 2056. All currency is now crypto. Hey, speaking no of crypto. No one has any actual money. Speaking of crypto. Do you have like a fruit on you right Is this a I llama? A is this a, don a donkey here? My I can, I can give it to you, but I will also relinquish what left little I have, but I'll do it. How do I drop? Just like drag it out of your inventory. Oh, just from the bar? Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, yeah. now I'm hungry. Give me that. Give me that beat back. Your beat. Your beat um, I don't know where it went. Did you take it back? No, it's on the ground. I did not deceive. 
Um, so speaking of crypto, chat, when is Destroy All Humans 2 coming out? That's like a couple weeks, isn't it? I have no idea. Like August? Because I want to play that, because that's a good game. Um, 49 oh, days? I wish we could oh, okay. We can't click this. <laughs> We we'll can't get the cook timer. this uh, catfish, can we? Nah, we need a big grill. Okay, I, I reside myself to my fate. We need a fat bottom grill. Shark! <laughs> ah, I killed him. Oh, wow. Good eating tonight. How opportune. I'm trying to kill a llama. I don't have any room for all the meat, so pick that shit up, please. Yeah, all right. Right, yeah. I got it. We need some storage, for sure. Oh. So how gone. many shark bits does that give? I think it's like four. Okay. Yeah. Llama's back. Is this a llama chat? What is this thing? Is donkey here? Is it? It's a dog. It's weird. What do I put on shark head? Uh, open uh, up your inventory, and there's little uh, tabs coming off the bottom. Oh yeah. It's not worth oh. it. I, I I hate it. I'm done. Never mind. Yeah, if you kill the llama, the game just like ends anyways. So don't do it. Oh, that's the end game parameter. Yeah. Yep. That's so, the end game. Oh, all right. Cool. It's the boss. Yeah, I, I gave up. It was too fast. I need a bow and arrow for that shit. How often do you think video game sarcasm, like to what just happened there, <laughs> miss someone in chat, like goes totally through? misses it? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you, I thought my sarcasm was pretty easy to pick up on, and there are still chat members today that think I've played Undertale all the way through. Oh yeah, like, that was I was surprised by that honestly. Me too. I thought it was a little bit more obvious, but I thought I had a good <laughs> sarcasm voice, but at the same time, yeah, I think it goes over. Listen, text sarcasm has st probably started Twitter wars that people just doubled down on. It's like, well, that was meant as a joke, but now I'm being called an asshole. So, you know. I think what happens, it happens all the time. What what causes the true, true death? Oh, your health bar just goes down. Okay, okay. So, yeah, okay. The true death. What, the true death of what? Of myself. Uh, <laughs> the death of one's ego? That's a whole different story, I guess. Yeah, Probably oh, the no. James Webb Telescope. Of this. The same thing that makes Seth Rogen make the funny voice, I think. <laughs> yeah, this island has much fruit and coconut and stuff. So, I recommend if you end up on this island, keep an eye out for pineapples and bring a, like an axe of some kind. There's like a building with like uh, satellite dishes on it. Yeah, that that was what we were talking about. That's the trading post, and oh. it, there's nothing really we can do there at the moment. Uh, understood. Are, understood. Are you at the top top too? Like, I think there's a, abandoned buildings with antennas and stuff. I don't know if that's mm. what you're saying. I just got off the boat and looking across the way, I see it. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that is. Okay. Yeah, let's chop all these trees down. Why can't I? You gotta be underwater. Yeah, it looks, to work for yeah. some reason. It's like fucking it's weird. janky. Yeah, it's a bug. Version 1.0. Can you harvest bamboo? As far as I know, you can't. Why would we do that to bam? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean what? Bam Margera? I don't. I don't, Listen, I don't understand. You for years, you're gonna say what to that? No, I mean, <laughs> who's Bamboo? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> just, just like divulge a little bit further. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone named Bam? I don't know. 
Are there, mul- bam, are there bam. more than one people named Bam? <laughs> bam, though? bam from from the fucking Flintstones. Bam, Bam Bigelow. Oh yeah, I remember the Bam Bam Bigelow. That was a wrestling guy. <laughs> to this day, I can't find my, one of my favorite things that I laughed the hardest at in my life, which was this <laughs> wrestling. I, my friend had a Bret Hart DVD where he was fighting Bam Bam Bigelow in like Mexico, and the announcers were like. Brrr! <laughs> and it was like, bam, bam, Bigelow. It was amazing. It was so good. And I found out they just do that all the time. And they roll their R's like for a long time. And it's like a cultural thing that I was totally unfamiliar with. They were calling him the Bam Bam Bigelow. And it was it was hilarious. And I loved it. I could never find it again. There's watermelons over here. Mexican yeah, sports hinge. announcers are what? gods. Yeah, it sounds like it. Huh, Jeff? Anyone got a hinge? Yes, I do. Uh, let me get back to the boat, and I will give you the hinge. Thank you. Uh, can I cook mushrooms? Because I have four of them. I believe you can. Okay, I will save them for the boat. Oh. It took up until very recently for me to enjoy eating mushrooms, like, in dishes. Right, in they're dishes. Hard to, they're hard to do well, I find. Mm. So I, it's pretty I, easy to, like, have a bad mushroom. Yeah, they're only fun they're, recreationally. <laughs> right. Like, if you're not really hungry and you eat them? Yeah, exactly. For yeah. fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like mushrooms. I think that, you, you know, I like the ones in cans. Like, I know it's a little lame. It's in but hinges just in box. fry those up, get them nice and you know cooked up nice with a little garlic, pretty good. Those are the worst. Yeah, yeah maybe they're not that good actually. <laughs> but also, <laughs> you can make a good mushroom pan sauce. I've learned, mm. so you can, you know, use them as like a a, hey. a way to thicken the sauce. Yes, Dave. If you got extra planks, put them in the grill. In the grill. Oh, yeah, right, I'm, in the grill. I'm, I'm quite plankless myself. Yeah, I don't have enough to make an axe to go and cut trees, so okay. I'm like... I'm just I, making sure the raft doesn't go away. I just used the last I had on the roof, but at least there's like a little room here now, right? Cozy. Let's see how... It, yeah, this is nice. This is good. Perhaps should we should set off? I don't know. Are there any more trees to chop down? Um, I kind of chopped down Animal. most of the stuff, as far as I could tell. Yeah, but it looks like we got everything good. Did I you go got, in this cave over here. Did anyone many, find this cave? I no. I went in that cave and I, I got four mushrooms oh, out of it. Mushrooms were. Right, yeah, I, like I got many thing, I many seeds. Sowing the seeds of love. The seed is strong. That was a Game of Thrones reference, okay. wasn't it? Yeah. Not a, I'm talking about when I wake up in the morning. Oh. <laughs> hey, who has any? Who has planks? Right uh, now, I have some. I just okay. built something with them, but I have some. I'll give you what seeds I have in a moment. Let me just plant these pinyaps. Can you not plant pinyaps in a medium? Oh, you can. It needs fresh water though. All right, I'm gonna put Dark. the planks in the. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the storage, the small storage we have. Thank you. There is a stack split option. Like splitting, splitting stacks. Hmm. Oh, I guess the rain is watering them. You got build, those zinc stacks. Build more storages. Well, we need a we need um, a hinge to build the large storage. There's a hinge in in the storage. Oh, is there? I forgot about that. I forgot that whole. Yeah, thing. was that That's Jeff? Was, was that you were building the large storage? I, was I forgot about it. I completely forgot. And I used all the wood <laughs> I had. So right. If anyone's got any wood, we can make a big. There, chest. There's wood in the box. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Oh, there is. Where should I put it? You think? Big box. Probably next to the other storage. I don't know. Yeah, we can get that out of the fucking way too. Yeah. How about, is it just two squares large or whatever? Kind of weird. I don't know. You'll see. 
Okay. It doesn't really take up like a spot. Like you could like kind of get them close together. Sure. How do you like heal the ship? You can use the hammer somehow. I don't know. Yeah, oh, right middle click, click middle click. Hammer. Nice. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Like repair the ship. I said heal the ship. What the fuck? <laughs> well, the ship is living. It's like that episode of Star Trek where Data goes inside the Tin Man. <laughs> or the the hit hit sci-fi show Farscape, where their ships were giant whales in space. I saw a little bit of Farscape. I liked the Muppets. I didn't see yeah, too much. I, really yeah. had Muppets? They had like Muppet fellas. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Mupp yeah, it was awesome. The, that was like one of the best part, like the makeup, costumes. It was like uh, Farscape was a trip. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that, that was a cool show. The little I've seen of it. It was Jim Henson? Yeah. Or like his company? Okay. Thank you. And you may find yourself living on a shotgun raft. What is a shotgun shack? I thought you said shark gun. I was like, wow, that's a reach. What the fuck? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Just a shitty I have, house. I have wondered the same thing. Well, a shack, I guess, when shotgun a tiny lot, like, it's just. It's a long house. It's a small house with rooms that all line up front to back. A shack, you can fire a shotgun from front to back. What? <laughs> I mean, I believe you, chat. It's just... That's weird. It's a weird way to describe that, you know? Fucking shark. I like... What... Chat, what are other interesting terms like that that you can educate me on? Because I want to use them one day, maybe. What, what do you got? Like, something weird like Shotgun Shack that maybe is like a very specific reference. Fun Dungeons? I'm not talking about like living. <laughs> uh, what? I, uh, I'm not talking about like living uh, flag places. Flag that chat member. Yeah, seriously. Uh, rotten egg player. <laughs> That's one of my references, chat member. A waffle stomp. I know about that. A witch window. What's a witch window? Tell me about that one. I bet these chat members are just making this shit up. Nosebleed section. I know about that. I saw a muse from a nosebleed section. Cock porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's very specific. It's like one of those word combos, you know? <laughs> Oven window. Very good. Coming up on another island. Try to go get some clay and sand and underwater if you can. A banana, a banana hammock. A fecal facility. Bumblefuck Nowhere. That's a good one. I know that one. Cleveland Steamer said two people at the exact same time. There was like a full minute of no Cleveland Steamer and then two people at the same time. Like a clove hitch is one. Yeah. What's that? It's a type of knot. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's other cool names for knots, isn't, isn't there? Like a yeah, uh, you got like, you got like your bow Don. lines. You got your bow lines. You got your your t tot line hitch. I don't want to go on a tangent about knots, but I got a lot of knowledge about knots. Okay, blood knot. Well, it's you a got, good thing like, we got you on the raft. Yeah, you got the double fisherman's knot. Very different than the fisherman's knot because it's two of them. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to yeah. be adding a lot of chat members to a list now. But other than that, you know, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, we're Sick. just cleaning up. Cleaning up Th the that's all this is. Yeah, this wasn't. This is exactly <laughs> what this is. <laughs> this is all been a test. And you failed. Yeah, we can put you all in a contamination bubble. Basically. Sorry, chat. Sorry.
No, no none of the... Listen, the GASM policy has not been violated. <laughs> a witch window is a diagonal window named after the belief that witches cannot fly their broomsticks through it. And, like, how long ago were we making that as a, as a race, as a species? Like, probably like a hundred years, right? Like, maybe someone was still making them a hundred years ago. And, like, we, we thought we had to stop witches from flying into our houses. And now we have cell phones. And, like, it kind of all makes sense now. Thank you for that, chat member. You just put a lot of perspective into my life. A flying... Time to, yeah? The, the time between the inception of the witch window and the James Webb Space Telescope images. It's not that That's long. Our, it's a it's not. It really is not. It's a blip. What That's about, why I'm um, hopeful for the future. A flying buttress. Isn't that like a term from the 1700s or so? Or like the, the 17th century? What is that? Flying buttress. Is that it's, not a... That uh, architectural thing. Architectural thing, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like a, It's like a rampart structure. I think All a right, buttress now. is like like to to hold something up. It's like a shape to to hold something up, the archy thing. I don't know. I'm not an archaeo archaeologist. All right, let, let, let's, 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 All right, let's keep this about rampart. Let's keep this about rampart. Stay on topic. Oh, I've got a uh, raw potato. Let me throw that on the grill. We get everything we want here, basically. Yeah, this I think place. So. We're we're all we're all. You didn't find here. anything in the water for scrap, really. So I picked up a couple of things. It's probably on the other side of the island. Oh, is it? Damn it! Oh, well, whatever. Never. Well, whatever. Never mind. Kurt, what are you saying? Weird Al had the, the right idea to parody that song about not being able to understand Kurt's lyrics. Good stuff. I remember when I first heard it, I was just like, I understand Al, like Weird Al's lyrics, Way better than I could understand the original song's lyrics. Yeah, that lends itself to it, though. Like, think of all the like most popular pop songs ever. They're always like songs where the lyrics are like easily turned into different words. Mm -hmm. There was, I think, there was a commercial for a radio station growing up where the whole commercial was like people listening to the music. And seeing the lyrics completely wrong. Mm -hmm. like, like she's a... got a tick in her eye and she don't care. Oh, um... All we are saying is give Jesus pants. Or it's like in <laughs> Flight of the Concords when Murray's like, like that Beatles song, give Pete a chance. It's like, who's Pete? Yes. Know. And then there was also, um... Pete Best. Ticket to Ride. So here, here we go, Ticket to Ride. One of the misunderstood lyrics was "She's a big teaser." It was people thought it was she, "She's a prick teaser." So live, mm -hmm. McCartney started singing it as "She's a prick <clears throat> teaser." So, look there at that, is everybody. A we, room on the right. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a credence. That. Nice. What's a? There's one. There's like a really shitty 3D animation video. It's like I don't need my pizza burning. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to eat. Is it a beast pizza. of burden? Yeah, beast of burden. Oh, beast of burden. Oh, my God. Yeah. Took me a minute my there. Beast of burden. I understood oh. the melodies up. Thank you. Need wood again. When Mick Jagger was like, Am I hard enough? I'm like, Dude, <laughs> I don't need to know that. And, and then I understood what it meant like, later in life. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he's just talking about being a little hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's talking about being gangster. That's right. Do you remember when the Sonic trailer had Gangster's Paradise 
And then he goes, <laughs> gotta go fast. And everyone was like, oh no. And then these somehow ended up being like some of the best video game movies. That was weird. Oh, you're right. He he is some of the best video game movies. I never even like. Yeah, I, 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 I never even really, like hit the switch in the past few years. I mean, it, it's not. Yeah, someone in chat said it's not. It's a very very low <laughs> bar, and then their name yeah, is right, Sonic. Right, right, I, uh, right. When a majority of the films in the genre have been made by Yui Bowl, then oh my come god, on. The, the last video game movie I saw in completion was Silent Hill in theater. Damn, dog. I can't... Yeah, you could do a little bit, but I haven't seen that, but I'm just saying there's been, like, Detective Pikachu yeah, and the I... Sonic movies are good. The Pikachu movie and the Sonic movies definitely have a lot of people that like them, so... Have you seen them, Jeff? I have not seen either of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they're good movies. They're weirdly... Detective Pikachu was, I like, started... surprisingly great. Yeah, well, that's that's disclosure. I was like, uh, no. Full well, disclosure, the Sonic... Like company and mood to like watch those movies. I think the, the Silent Hill movie isn't that bad. Yeah, for the for a movie, the Silent Hill movie is good. For a Silent Hill movie no, game, yeah, it's not right, good. right. But it's yeah, a good right. movie. It is genuinely a good movie. Is Jeff yeah, crusting? Yeah, yes, Jeff is still crusting. Yeah. Your DAW does not up. play That's nicely why. with Discord. Yeah, it's it's only you though that it happens. With. Uh, it's I hear, it, dude. No, it's only Vinny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the other, it's audio hallucinations for me. Okay, I got it. It's okay. Thanks for confirming, though. Yeah. You just set Zot's life on a different path, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Saying the constant chirping is, is in my head. Okay. Yeah, you thought you were getting that, didn't you? We're on the same team, dude. <laughs> it makes me wonder. There's four of us on this raft. How how can we, how can we find a way to turn this into a fun group competition dynamic, and that way we can lose our raft. Oh, oh. sports. I mean, just eat the food before anybody else does and force them to die. Uh, all right, sounds good. Sucks. <laughs> Sucks to your ass, Ma. Just slowly like, drive everyone crazy. Like, they're moving things around. I don't like know. In, yeah, like um, like in Barry, when, when Bill Hader's like, you know, replace the dog with a slightly different dog. You know, every day sneak <laughs> in and make the furniture just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, there's a raft in the distance there. Oh, we want to get to that. Heading. Oh, um... Not, not that the Emmys mean very much at all, but two, okay, three th quick things I want to mention about them. One, Star Trek Picard was nominated for four Emmys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice, nice institution you have there. But it's none of it is because of acting or directing or writing or anything like that. It's just like special effects and costumes. Oh, that's fine. Fine. You know what? Yes, fine. That's nice. Great. However,. One thing that is interesting, even if it doesn't mean anything, Ray Seahorn, Kim Wexler in Breaking Saul, uh, she got nominated for an e Emmy, which is great. And know, um, awesome. Bill Hader and Noho Hank from Barry got nominated, and and Bob Odenkirk too. So, oh good, that's, that's you know, good stuff. So I'll just say that uh, Patricia Arquette getting supporting actress for. Severance is very good. That it's going to be between her and Raya in terms of who is going to win that. And, I haven't seen Severance, but and I'm really sad that uh, the uh, what's her name, Sarah Goldberg from I Barry, think is her name from yeah. Barry. Yeah, wasn't she nominated. deserved to be nominated, but she wasn't. Yeah, that's that's full blown sinking right there. Scary. Well, that just sinks on its own. Once you pick up the uh, item that's on it, yeah. Oh. It sinks. As a, a dead man's box on it, I see. Yeah. Okay. It's sort of to like tell the player, hey, you don't need to deal with this anymore. Right, right, right. It'd be cool if you could like scrap it somehow. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, also, no, I've, I've tried. Also, you if you, you could probably like 
Think about it, it might break multiplayer if you think about it, because then someone could get multi refs. A, right. Yeah, and then you're you're <laughs> all in funny. like Yeah. They must scuttle. Someone said fuck Apple TV. And I don't know why, but it reminded me of that I'm in the process of just shuffling a streaming service every month instead of having multiple That's smart. services. I'm I'm trying I'm trying that out. I feel like I feel like the the curse of choice has cursed me too much. So, I'm limiting that choice. Well, I canceled uh, okay. Netflix. I have Amazon because, you know, I use it what? for deliveries. I know bad. But I also have HBO cuz I think that's genuinely like a good streaming service. That's pretty much it at this point. Um but I'm lucky because I have a number of Plex access <laughs> thank you dave and your friend and also yeah. thank you some chat members but it's nice to have that uh oh box uh but yeah Zot, the reason somebody brought that up is because apple tv is what has severance is it is Apple TV bad? I mean, it, it, uh, we're comparing it's, like very we're like shapes, you know. I, I just, don't really see the. It difference has maybe th like three or four good shows tops. But that's isn't that every app though? Yeah. Well, yeah. It depends, but uh, uh, some of them, some of them have a little bit more than a couple shows, and it's like. It just sucks to have to fucking sign up for so many things if you want to watch right. all the shows you want to watch. So I get why you're shuffling. But, like, the worst to me is Paramount, Paramount Plus. Because I just I, oh. I hate what they did to Star Trek and Halo, so... It, uh, Massive yeah. island in the distance. From what I know of people who have, like, all the services, Paramount is literally the worst to deal with in terms of like how their player works and all that shit. It's just complete oh, shit. I, I had the Paramount Plus app for a little bit and I, I got a, my nice new television. That was our Christmas gift. And it's this nice LG whatever. It's thin. It, I thought I was going to break it saying it up. Anyway, Paramount Plus runs like dog shit on that that yeah. TV. It is it is insane how badly it crashes. Nice, nice service you have there, Paramount. Good shit. People I mean, yearn for yearn for cable again. Is that going to happen? That's kind of why uh, I think like just if you really want to watch stuff from Paramount, you can just watch it on Amazon. You just buy it through Amazon, right? Hmm. So just like use or, the Prime or find other app. ways that you know. Not, not, not that that's any better, but yeah. Oh yeah, no. I'm well, obviously windows. yeah. There's other ways, obviously, but yeah. I always. Uh, advocate the other ways of watching television so now that beavis and butthead are in the 20 me? what jeff i didn't have my uh, audio was actually working you died but we didn't hear you since then now that beavis and butthead are in the year 2022 i kind of want to see their take on like i think they're doing another series with them after the movie but i kind of want to see their take on like streaming services Oh yeah. The only like, reason how, I say that is because it's like they're going to be sitting like this sucks. We can't, can't watch anything. They turn on MTV and it's just fucking reality TV garbage. I think they did that about ten years ago anyway. So never mind. They've they've attempted this. I just want to see their reaction to see like like a, a norm like a like a standard streamer and then finding out about like. Like the other kind of streamers on right. digital service, <laughs> you know what I mean? And well, like, that, so they're, they're like, "What?" <laughs> see, now I kind of want to see them just like they would watch music videos, but react to Twitch streams. This Vine Sauce guy yeah. kind of sucks. <laughs> oh God, I was just thinking Beavis and Butthead like react channel. Oh my, like, oh, uh, well, Mike Judge would have to do both voices. So yeah, I already what they do with like music videos. What do you mean? He did, yeah. Well, he I, I don't know if he does one and then the other because they overlay them on top of each other. Because they'll both be like that. Because Butthead were the first reactors, guys. You didn't know that. Yeah, it's they true. They kind of yeah. really were, and also they were tastemakers too. Like I found out. I mean, I kind of knew this when I was growing up, but that band Winger, they made Stewart like the uncool kid like Winger as his favorite band, and the band Winger was like that ruined us forever. 
<laughs> oh no! Yep. That's sad. But one thing I've noticed rewatching some old episodes is how s smart this stupid show can be at times. Not like, like holy shit! It's a, like you know, it's the smartest. It's not Better Call Saul, but it is like really good satire on stupid like youth. There's and, a lot of su subtlety yeah. to it. Yeah. Weirdly, there is, and I never picked up on it as a kid because I just liked them going fire, you know. But now, as an right. adult, I'm like, oh, okay, there's something there to latch onto. They're, uh, supposedly, they're making new King of the Hill, which I have qualms with personally, but I, whatever, I, I trust Mike Judge. Mike Judge's judgment. Thank you for that. Yeah. I knew you were you're gonna go there. Yeah. Do I look like I know what an NFT is? Do I look like I know what a board ape is? GameStop is like you know changing the game. They're introducing NFTs or something. I browsed and the page. It's not good. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't. But it's just, to me, uh, not to go into the NFT thing for too long, I just know that whenever this happens, there's always people that show up and are like, bro, you have no idea how this is going to change the game. It's going to make Pretty video sure games so much better. Mike Judge already did some NFT shit. He, he did? Yeah, wasn't there something with that last year? But Someone I add, I I retract my judgment joke. Oh man, if he did, <laughs> right, right, right. But I just love how like people try to explain how it's going to make video games better, and then like when asked how, it's just like platitudes. Oh. It's Watch just like the bird phrases. Dropping rocks. These birds uh, drop rocks. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Stuff. There was something. It wasn't like I don't think it actually happened. I think he got like I think he ended up not doing it after people got mad, right? Is that what happened? Apparently he mocked them. Yeah, I'm seeing more mockery. Is that what it was? Okay. I knew they it was something with Mike Judge and NFTs last year. I couldn't remember. I feel my opinion shifting left <clears throat> and right at the very moment. Yeah, it's it's hard to know sometimes because then it, it was it, just a joke, guys. It was just a, I was oh, only joking about NFTs. Like that's Seth Green was the Seth Green was the <laughs> fellow that <laughs> right. got his stuff stolen, right? But yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's a good way to get back after burning some. Uh... <laughs> it was a joke. In, in, dang old introducing dang old Porky's butthole NFTs, and then a day later, that was <laughs> that dang old. That was a joke <laughs> parody. <laughs> no, I only introduced Vine Sauce NFTs because I thought it would be a good way to parody them. It was a Christmas joke. You guys just don't get it. I'm getting rock bombed by this bird while walking quite slow due to lack oh, of fuck. food there's a boar yeah, up the, here if the, the bird will kill you this bird yeah, kills the bird is really really tough I don't know how to kill it really I think you need bow and arrow I am climbing to the very very top of this mountain being chased by a bird and a boar and I'm just realizing now I'm probably going to die getting back down we can get your body and bring you back. That's cool. So, should I just leave my body in an opportune placement at this rate? Well, try to die somewhere where we can find you. Okay, I'll remember the, the facets of the rocks around me. If we can make a metal spear, it'll make killing all these shit a lot easier, too. Uh, there's another trading post up here. So, And then I just found a bunch of steps leading to the very, very top of the mountain. And let's see what's up here. <laughs> Warthog is at the boat. He's just hanging out. Uh, oh, there's hey, satellite man. up here. Does your body explode its items around it, or it's all contained in, within the body? If you 
Just lay there, yeah. You don't lose anything. Okay. You gonna watch the boat, Dave? Yeah. I just made a spear. Cool. I don't know where that warthog went, but... So you're dead, uh... Is that... I'm I'm dying and I I don't want to die in water with how slow I'm going so I'm I'm taking I'm taking a safe route here and just okay, dying in it. Okay. I should have yeah, left some of this stuff back at the base. Silver smoothie and hinge. Recipe can be made in a juicer. And there's a satellite up here. Is H24 there anything? Movies. Is there? <laughs> oh fuck you, bird. Is there anything to do with the satellite or chat? Does anyone know? Because there's. I think like it's a... just to imply that that's what you're supposed to do. Like, all right, we got to make a satellite or something. I don't know. I don't know what the the point is. Okay. Uh, you'll figure out what the satellite's about later. It's lore for show. Okay, it's lore. I'll leave it at that. Hmm. Oh, the, the, the bird decided to do the coup de gras. Are you dead? Yeah, so surrender and respawn is what I got to do, right? Well, where are you? I can try to get you. Uh, I'm amongst uh, I'm amongst an archipelago of rocks. A little bit more specific. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I can't see. The whole see. fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, so if I respawn, I can't go back to my body. If you respawn, Correct. you lose two thirds of your stuff and you like wake up on the boat. Mm, All your yes. tools will break and shit. So it's really, it sucks. Mm, yeah, this is a, this is beans. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've let returned. me think about this. I was on it, where the boat is facing. I was on the port side of the island. Face, if the boat is facing the wall, I'm on the port or left side. All right, just click respawn and surrender. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I do with this recipe card uh, for a smoothie? Oh, save that for when we get a thing to make it in. Okay. So just put it in the chest. It's actually literally just like a reminder of how to make it. You don't actually need to have it on you. I see. I, I've I've come bearing gifts. I have various things here that we can use: metal ore, copper, etc. Oh, we got metal ore. Nice. A nail. Two only two metal ore, but we can probably do something with that. Considering the boat does not have a stern of any sort or anything like that, I really can't say as a port or a starboard side, unless it. It's based on the direction in which it is moving. Boat terms. They're useless yeah, now. I, I don't have any, <laughs> any frame of reference well, for boat terms. I'm sorry. We, we also all need to know them for it to make sense. You're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, you're right. I mean, I'm, we all probably have known them at one point or another, but... <laughs> I'm not using my brain for that shit, though. Yeah, it's too hard to think. Scarecrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because birds peck at the uh, plants. Oh, birds will attack your boat, like, out in the open ocean? Or just yeah. when you're near an island? Oh, wow. Oh, everywhere. No, 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 like seagulls. But the bird... Will but not like the big bird. Not, not like the big a, bird. No. Oh, okay. The big bird is just territorial. That is big island. But since we have a roof, we're safe big in the house. Dumb he, will, bird. he can follow you back to the boat and drop rocks. Got it. Got it. But doesn't hurt the boat or anything. Have you ever been in a glass bottom boat? No. I know, what, I know what you're talking about, though. Sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You see the fish and all that. It's nice. What if it hits a rock? Then you're going to wish you weren't on a glass bottom boat. Uh. Oh, we killed him. Nice. Oh, 
sharp. Yeah. I need that food. Fucking dying. Are we uh, done with the island? Yeah, I don't. Well, was there a lot of other trees out there, Vinny? So Sorry, I'm trees? singing a salty uh, sea shanty. What? Uh, no, no, there were a lot of trees, but I mean, what there's, else? there's trees that you can't chop down. Yeah, and I've been to the top of the mountain, and it was a hinge. There was a hinge up there. Vinny That's dropped the seven food goes. seeds behind like it was nothing. Um, yeah, that was palm tree seeds, so you could build for stuff for ropes. You, you chopped down all the trees that you could chop down, the Chat member. So I think we're good, then. Yeah, I, we have a number yeah. of seeds. We're, we're not really wanting for seed at the moment. Perhaps I could sing a seed shanty to uh, be the most unfunny streamer I could possibly be. Spilling the seeds of love. It's a good thing they didn't name the song Spilling the Seeds of Love. That would have been awkward. Jesus. I mean, it's Monty Python already did a song about that. Oh yeah, they did Every Sperm is Sacred. That's a good song. Expand the raft so you can build a giant grill. I can help is expand. That, is that Mr. Dank in there? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Big grill lobby? Telling you to. <laughs> telling you what to do? It's, you want to expand my grill? You say the big grill lobby? Is that what you said? You know how big grill <laughs> is. Like there's like a, a, a corporate interest in, in getting people to buy more grills and larger yeah. grills even. Yeah, okay. They went after Norm McDonald. I mean, we have like 18 yeah. holidays where everyone's like, let's grill some shit. Do uh, we yeah. need point. support for this ever? What? Like, do we need to build support? Yeah, that's what the walls. So I couldn't. You can only. What, you mean for like the outside of the raft or what? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to make a, a second floor, yeah, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Or a wall. Or some shit. I built a support beam, and I'm very uh, proud of myself. I feel oh. helpful. I mean, it is a chill game. It's a good podcast game. Whether you want to talk to your friends, just talk about, you know, baloney. Or you can, uh... Hey, that's weird. I can't extend, expend, extend, expend. Well, Ex it what? starts out really slow, apparently. Or so, I've been told. But then there's, like... It really ramps up, doesn't it, Dave? There's all sorts of fucking... Uh, there's, like, bosses. There's, like, Warcraft boss fights and shit. It's crazy. Warcraft boss fights. I have not there's, seen like, any of that yet. There's like raid battles and stuff. Raid, 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 raid dead redemption, legends, shadow. I, I I appreciate the attempt. I don't know. I'm just fishing for plastic in this oh, ocean. Oh, you were. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you were fishing for a good uh, a good joke. Damn, you're just damn. Yeah, just you damn. Could, yeah, you could have had yeah. that. That was free. Missed. Whist. Missed! I mean, for even saying that, you get like $10 at least from them, so good job. You do. <laughs> yeah, just today I got three Raid Shadow Legends requests. <laughs> no, it's from like different comp- like, I don't know if it's the same company, but like, it seems like it's a different person every time. Like, hello, my name is Pate. And I yes, am here to these... tell you about Raid Shadow Legends. Have you heard? It's a phenomenon. Like robotic like PR companies and stuff like ro that. Yeah, ro ro robo PR folk. Yeah. It seems like it. I, and they I'm all willing... have like dessert names. Like my name is Creme Brulee, and I would like for you to play Raid Shadow Legends. Yes. Oh, I'm willing to bet that at least some of those are just fraud. Oh, sick. Like people pretending to be a thing that will give you money, you know. Mm hmm 
What is that noise? The actual Raid Shadow Legends is fraud, says a chat member. Well, people do get paid <laughs> well for it. Whether or not it is, like, a good game, or people actually like it, that's a different story. But uh, I do see... I've heard tale of great payout from Raid. I, someone said, I heard they're easy to work with. They pay... Yeah, they are very... Yes, they pay very well. And apparently they are... Like, can you just say, hey, Raid, Raid Shadow Legends sucks big cocks, and then they just still give you a paycheck? <laughs> well, that's like the strategy is like, just number, number, numbers, numbers, you know what I mean? Like, just get the name out there no matter what. Yeah, we're talking there, about it. There, there is a realm of, of, was it, deprecative advertising? I feel like... Sure. I feel like that might work. I don't know. Clearly, that's what commercials do, right? Speaking of commercials and, and lobbies, is is it not strange how how often and how popular milk ads were? <laughs> yeah, what were they trying to do to us? So, it's <laughs> the the Dairy Association of California and and the rest of the United States, and they had a like supreme marketing budget. It like absolutely insane. Dairy producers of California and and I think the rest of the United States, and they would just raid shadow legends it and just pay whoever to put some milk on their face <laughs> milk was the first raid shadow legends <laughs> wow i didn't see you going at that angle but I uh, but mario too mario <laughs> i remember him having a big milk mustache yeah yeah even if you got lactose intolerance you better be drinking milk there's a a raft uh in in my direction, but then there's also island. Yeah, yeah I, there, I see that. that island. It's not happening. I don't even know which direction we're moving right now. Towards the island, but I'll change it towards the raft. It's getting farther and farther away. The wind was just against us. Yeah. Is 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 the milk references beyond some chat members? Do do? You... Yeah, that was like thirty yeah, years ago. I mean, it I, probably. I don't know if there's still commercials, but chat members that are younger, like younger than 20 i'm gonna ask you do you remember commercials ever of an ad campaign got milk and they had a milk mustache was that at all a thing that you saw it definitely became like a, a joke where people were like making up those pictures though at a certain point and then i think they were like we need to stop this it went on for a while the world went to the gutter mm -hmm. all right now milk <laughs> Has implications, okay. right? right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it's going to make a comeback? And it's like, oh, I see what you did there with, with, with that <laughs> word. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Milk I, is making a comeback. Wait, they should just wait, have no. Homelander do <laughs> ads for it. <laughs> at this point, yeah, yeah. Um, Milk is back, baby. Someone said, <laughs> Vinny, you made a Diablo Immortal ad. You should just take the paycheck and do a Raid Shadow Legends ad. I mean, you do realize that that was... I mean, maybe you just meant it as a... That wasn't an ad. That was me just shitting on the game. <laughs> I don't think they understand, like, the... I'm, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell by the chat message. But it's possible... It's possible that they just thought... There was a difference? Yeah, good point. But yeah. No, I mean, I guess I could. What if I did a Raid Shadow Legends where I just made fun of it the same way I did? Well, you know what? It's probably not as bad as Diablo Immortal. Like, from monetization standpoint. I think it's just like a cookie clicker game, isn't it? Basically on a phone? I don't even know what it is. You know, with how pervasive that game is, I have no... not a clue. I don't know what man. it is or I, does. I thought it was like those, like the Star Wars game that's actually pretty, like people like, and the, I think there's a Star Trek it's game an, people like. Yeah, it's like an you auto just, battler. You auto gather, battler, okay. Yeah, you gather heroes and you make a party and then they do a fight. News to me. Uh, I'm sure Lads. there's one for like every kind of 
Oh. Your, your ladder is backwards. Yeah. Oh, this I get, is pretty I sick. Don't, I don't get the materials back for it. Mm. No, you get the did ladder. You, I did? Yeah, she did I, it. Did I, I used my axe to... Uh oh. Oh, uh, the axe might have broken it, yeah. If you... I forget if it's the hammer or the... Something you can use to just pick stuff up. How are we doing on the smelter? Are we close to that at all? Uh, we need more sand and clay. All right, cool. You do that. So we need to get to an, an island. island. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there like special sharks, like rare, rare uh, spawn yeah. sharks? There are. No, I don't know. Oh, I like. I would like. I mean, to see I know there's other like sea life or whatever. There's uh, fucking aliens and shit. It's crazy, man. I don't know if you're telling the truth or not. I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> no, <just> whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. It's in the game. But to me, that's a cool thing. Like the idea of a yeah. USO, like an unidentified submerged object. I think that would be awesome if that was in the game. Maybe I don't know. I don't know when About the when is the ladder not backwards, chat members. Pretty deep question. I don't know. There you go. Okay. Well, we have the smallest of crow's nests. There's some music now. Epic. <laughs> you gamble it says. Buy gold cheap. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is that? Behind us. Do you see that? That is tower? UFO? UFO! You're a raft. God is damn it, Jack. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's a, it's a raft. No, I'm serious. I don't know. Is it a raft? Looks like yeah, a raft. It's got, it's got Dude, I think that's a giant. It. It's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want from this game is just aliens. <laughs> Here you are getting my hopes up. <laughs> But there are like, isn't um, there reports of like sailors from like the you know 17th, 16th century and like reporting seeing weird lights emerge from the ocean? There's like, oh, of course. There's all kinds of weird stuff like that in our history, and even there, in modern times too. You, that's why they call them USOs. The Mariner just, Trench. <laughs> the Mar yeah, and from the Mariner Trench. That's right. And they built witch windows to stop them from coming in. <laughs> Fried calamari in the marinara French. You cannot, can, you cannot stop us from coming. <laughs> can axe harm shark? No, no. Uh, that's unfortunately. That's, that's stupid. silly, silly. I say. Have you killed a shark with an axe before? Somebody has. <laughs> Not I. I refuse to believe we live in a world where <laughs> no one has killed a shark with an axe. <laughs> it's been tested. <laughs> You're telling me no one thought, hey, let's get kill a shark. I got a crate recipe simple fish stew. Nice. Hey, I wish we could like take parts off the raft, like that cooking pit or something. It's kind of yeah. I got a decoration package. Kill this fucking shark. You learned Rose. That was a good sneeze. That wasn't a sneeze, actually. That was just duck noise. For no reason. <laughs> ducks walking around. Speaking of, Jeff, you got to feed the ducks yesterday. Oh yeah, there's a lot of ducks. That was cool. Yeah. And cute ducks. Those are like four different families. Yeah, we saw at least out. four different families. Yeah, I Jeff uh, hung out in New York yesterday, so we went. Of course, instead of doing cool delinquent stuff, like <laughs> doing donuts in a parking lot, we just fed ducks. But, On your BMX bikes? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if we ride our bikes to the top of this hill, we can see the fireworks at midnight. Yeah. It's a, just a plot parks. of Stranger Things Season 4.
I'm actually. I got better slammers than you, bro. What? I'm quite happy getting a bike recently after not riding one for years, because I only grew up in areas where it was like gravel roads. I yeah. grew up in a pretty rural area, and being able to ride around town has been quite freeing. I well, gotta me, say. Me too. I mean, are you all aware that I've also recently got a Cannondale bicycle? Oh, you got a uh, you got a Cannondale. Wow. A Cannondale. <laughs> yep. You bet I did. <laughs> yeah, I, I got one. It's been. Um, it, the weather's been nice, hot as fuck today. But I've been, uh, yeah, it's bike sauce. I've been doing uh, the biking lately because I loved it when I was younger, and now that I'm older, I need the exercise, and it's fun. I've um, I've recently devised a method for me to safely stream while riding my bike, um, and I've I've been doing going along all the city trails, and. Um, just kind of recording them from a front face of view. It's been quite nice. That's cool. I do not have a I do not have a Cranondale. I have a <laughs> Aven, Aventon oh. electric bike. Okay. Then yes. then you come come to me. Yeah. Something in the water. What is it? It's a shark. No, nope. oh, it's a it's a stingray. Oh my ah. god. This is for hey. Steve. Oh, it is a stingray. Oh, neat. I can't kill it. Almost there, got me. Uh, is there cephalopod enemies in this? Is there a squid at wall attack? I have this like shark hat on and I went to go stab the shark in the mouth. And then when it went by, I was like really confused because I had the shark teeth around my head. So I was like inside the shark for a second. Someone just said Steve wouldn't want that in relation to me trying to attack the uh, <laughs> this thing. And and you're right. And and it's funny because you just made a point about a lot of things in a yeah. weird way. You you know what I mean? Like I don't want to go into like a deep discussion about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ like Sonic did. Oh, but the I only could. insightful chat comment right there. What was it? The one that just you just said. Oh, the that. One that Steve, yeah, that, yeah, that's the only one though yeah. ever made on Twitch. Right, that was a good one. I like that comment <laughs> from that chat member. A little island there. Um, yeah, we're approaching two hours and fifteen minutes of, of playing this, and uh, I'd like to play Isaac soon. So maybe we can explore this island and park our boat. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Game is fun. I mean, yeah. it's just relaxing yeah. and chill. You build a raft and see new things. You know, it's not probably not for everybody, but at the moment, I'm going to say I think this is a uh, pretty cool game, kind of. I like it. No aliens, um, but, you know. Yet. Yeah. Are we going to that I island? Know, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm redirecting our... Okay. Yeah. We want to go to the island. Well, we were not sailing that way. I mean, the wind. you can if you make a paddle real quick, yeah. Uh, uh, what? Paddle? You make a paddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there are paddles. When you're, this like, this close, it can, it can get you over to an island. This is news to me. Oh, sure enough. Do it up. I'm gonna kill this fucking shark. Find some plastic for that. Nope, don't got any. Do you know about not just bikes? No, I don't. It's um, <laughs> it's a YouTube channel about. It's a criticism of modern car infrastructure in the United States mm -hmm. and how it, how it compares to bike safe areas. Is that, is that oh. I put plastic in there for you? Oh, thank you. I mean, fair enough. I listen. I drive because it's almost a necessity for me. Like, I we don't have good public transportation infrastructure in Staten Island, and it, it's okay. But I like the freedom of it. But if we had um, better like bike lanes, it's fucking dangerous to ride your bike. Yeah. Like in in New York in particular, like people do it, but it, it's it's scary. It's fucking scary. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of understand it, 
and you know, the, unfortunately, cars are are you know kind of a means to an end for a lot of people. And I do like road trips and traveling, but I fully understand how they also clog shit up. The what now? The the channel that they're mentioning. I think I think the person's from like or in the Netherlands. Don't I don't know, but it's like comparing act, like actual. Yeah, right. the city and zoning planning involved in like hostile zoning or whatever. Why? Why there's like whole whole areas dedicated to empty parking lots and stuff like that. It's not just. It isn't literally the channel's not just bikes. So right. That's, <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, comparing like the Netherlands to some cities in the U.S. in regards to like bikes, yeah, it's it's going to be pretty fucking different, I think. You like bikes? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's like a reference to something. What was that? You know, now come on. I I should. I don't know. What is it? Uh, never gonna tell B you. B movie? Oh, you like jazz? Yeah. <laughs> Dutch Leto. <laughs> That'd be funny. Vinny, those recipes can be put on the wall like a poster. Really? Let's try it out. Let's see. Maybe chat member is onto something. Go into the wa anybody else go into the water and start farming this stuff. I'm trying. I'm trying to kill the shark first though, so we can do it without. That's cool. Chat member was correct. Get my ass kicked though. You learned no, pa did. paper bundle? Up there. I didn't know they could be just any wall. I always assumed it had to be on the uh, cooking thing that you end up making. Oh, really? You can just do it there? I didn't know that either. Hmm. Cool. Wow. Well, I will admit, it's really nice to see like your boat just, or raft or whatever, just parked up against an island. Yeah, it has cool. a, it's got a neat aesthetic to it. I mean, the game doesn't look amazing, but there are moments like seeing, that's, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying to Dave the first time. I was like, I don't know, it looks like a mobile game. You know what I mean? Like, it has, like, yeah. the flat colors have, but it has the heart, I think. It does. It has a couple moments where it looks good and, like, the like sea know. of Yeah. It doesn't the best looking water ever made in a video game, but, yeah. you know. I mean, the game itself is fun enough, and the concept is not even really unique anymore, but Probably for its time, because you said this has been worked on for like seven years. Yeah, I think I remember seeing it around a long time ago. I never played it though. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know how to find that first release date. This game makes me want to get into the houseboat industry, big houseboat industry. <laughs> how does one even? Don't you have to be grandfathered into that industry? All right, the shark's dead, so dig up <laughs> stuff in the water if you need it. It was it was first released on HIO in 2016. Okay, so oh, wow. that yeah, that's a, that's a while ago now. That is six years. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's like better off for it though, honestly. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there's mad ore down here. Yeah. All right, yeah. After we do this, when the shark comes back, that's probably when I'm gonna do a BRB. Yeah. And then... okay. Does any does anyone in chat live in a houseboat? Honestly, until that episode of The Simpsons, I didn't even know they existed when I was a kid. <laughs> I just remember in two thousand eight when my city like had a like a five hundred year flood. All the houseboats on the river were just ended up in one spot. And, and they made a new town. <laughs> and they made a new town. Yeah. There's a, um, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd has a boat. I don't know if he still owns it, but it's called the Astoria and it is a, uh, mobile recording studio. So it's a houseboat. It's a smallish medium houseboat, uh, that had a that recording studio on it and, and they recorded a good chunk of the division bell demos there. So they would That's just really him, Rick and Nick and Guy Pratt would just hang out on the boat and record music while they go down like various fucking awesome 
rivers. Now think about that. Think about looking out the window while someone is driving the houseboat, playing <laughs> music and writing new songs, and just getting the inspiration from whatever you're looking out uh, out out the window. That is the coolest shit ever, as far as I'm concerned. So I would love that. Lamenting the use of cars, and we're talking about how cool it is to have a recording studio on a boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come up and play in my treehouse. Hey, when the world is just water again, you got the fucking recording studio boat. So. Bro, Kevin Costner I mean, had gills. Fuck it, man. You can take your house to where you want to go, so that has you drink your own pee. Place. It'll be sick. <laughs> yes. I mean, you could do that now, but <laughs> we're full on water world. You can do it. You can do that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Someone said, why was Rick the best member of Pink Floyd? Um, he's the most underrated member. I, yeah, I love Rick's songs and his jazz aesthetic. You like jazz? Well, he brought it to Floyd. That cool chord in Breathe, that's all That's all Rick. I don't know what chord that is. It's, uh, hang on a second. It's, it's what is it, like a sus4 or something? So that's a D. What is that? Is that a D sus four? Dark's back. It's not a hard song to play. It's just get into that sus four is a lot of fun. I don't remember. I'm just the... thinking of of Butthead saying this sus. <laughs> I was waiting for yeah. you to say sus4 and then the note was just the Among Us sound or something. No, I wouldn't do that. That's too easy. <laughs> it's like Yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't play that sound effect. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> See now like that's what's cool about being on a raft. You guys can just do the work while I starve to death. Oh wait, I'm starving to death. It uh, is kind of neat like that. I don't know. Hey, uh, is there any extra break. food or pineapples or something that I could? I need food and and oh god, I need water. I was playing guitar while my character was dying. Uh. Yeah, just wait food. for that shit to cook. Foods are cooking. And th there's some watermelon up here that's ready. Let's just go for that real quick. But uh, yeah. Oh, so your character's not coughing from the smoke that they're watching the, the food cook from. They're coughing because they are, in fact, dying. Yeah, that's death. That's like uh, death coughs. Uh, yeah. Okay. What are they called? They're called, like, what? Death something? Death rattles? Yeah, there you go. Throws. Death throws, too, yeah. Death grips. Not the death grips. Remember, <laughs> it's death grips. Permanent. What are the other chords? It's, it's, uh, I want to find out if that's a D sus4. Because chat saying it was, but I think they were just memeing. <laughs> yeah, that word's ruined forever. Yep. Uh, it sounds diminished. It's diminished. I can't find because the tab I'm looking at is dumb. It's, it's overly complicated. Um, anyway, this was fun. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was a lot of fun. F. G. D minor E. What the fuck is the name? It's, that's not... Okay, whatever. Well, it, yeah, anyway, I can't find what this chord is called, and it is not the Amogus chord. But thank you, uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. And <laughs> also, uh, who else was it? Zot. And also Dave. So we'll raft again at some point, and uh, yeah, I, apparently the game does pick up. You were right. Like there are people in chat saying that the beginning's a little slow, but it gets better and better. So, um, it's a good, Thanks. chill podcasty type game. And uh, I will see you all again with this soon. But for now, I'm gonna take a break, and then play some Binding of Isaac.
Goodbye, lads. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you guys. All right. Someone said I actually watched the whole thing. Well, thank you. Vinny, any Red Vox information? Not really. Just stuff that's happening. Here's what I'll say about Red Vox. I'll give you one thing is that we had five songs recorded for the second half of the double album that we were like, oh, these will be on the second half of the double album. So we recorded 15 and released 10. They weren't fully mixed, the other five, but they were more or less done. Well, I wrote like another 14 songs since then, maybe. I think maybe 14, 13 songs. And I think there's some better ones. So we're only using maybe two of those. So that's why um, this double, the second half of the double album would have been out maybe. I mean, they're not, all, I'm sure they're not all good songs that, you know, but I think I like them. Um, and, <laughs> and the other band members like them. So that's, that's how help, that helps. But I think um, we were going to probably do late summer as a release and we're going to aim for that, but it's probably not going to happen. So fall is my best guess. Same sound from visions. Nope. It's going to be a mix of that a little bit, but also a mix of some other weird stuff and some variety and some stuff that sounds like realign and some stuff that sounds like whatever. I don't know. So anyway, all right, well, there you go. That's, that's your red Vox news for the five people. And I will be back in just a couple minutes with Binding of Isaac. I want to try to get that real ending. Thank you for watching. And thank you for continuing to watch and see you in a couple minutes. What song do I play? When I come back from the break, I'm going to tell you about an article that you may find interesting. <laughs>